In this tutorial we are going to look at how to create a custom template. And a custom template is a file that you open each time with SketchUp. And what it does is it, it remembers um, the settings for your 3D workspace. So for example, every time we start SketchUp with the architectural millimeters template, you can see that there's a lady standing there. And for some that may be annoying, for others that might give you scale for your drawings or your buildings that you're creating. But what I'm going to show you today is how to modify the 3D workspace, then how to save it as a template. So first let's get the eraser tool. So it's a little pink looking rubber. So click on that and then click on the lady and she will then disappear. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the Styles toolbar. So under the Window menu, go to Styles and that will open up that, that tool, um, slash Dialog. The next thing to do is to click on the Edit tab. And under the Edit tab you can see that we've got um, extensions turned on, endpoints, um, and this is uh, to give the drawing a little bit of um, artistic flair but in this case um, generally I work with these off and then turn them on at the end if I want to show um, a bit of artistic flair. The reason I do that is because these types of styles can actually slow down uh, you working with SketchUp because it has to do an extra process of um, showing off those styles so let's turn those off including profiles and it will then work a bit quicker. The next little icon to click on is the face settings and you can see here that we have a front color and a back color. If we click on the front color um, it will bring up a dialog and we can then change the the color of the front face of SketchUp. So generally um, I use the color picker called HSB rather than the, the color wheel. Some of you might already know RGB, red, green, blue values, but I find HSB very easy to use because hue, which stands for color, then you have saturation, which is the level of color, how, how, how much uh, color you would like to add to it, and then you've just got brightness, so it's very straightforward. Um, and you can choose the color that you want for your front face. As you can see we have um, like a tan color um, and SketchUp uh, it's actually quite easy to see the tan color when you have a white background which we're going to do next so just choose that and say OK. Next move on to the uh, background settings and you can see that we have um, the sky turned on let's turn that off and if we turn it back on you can see the horizon line disappears. Uh, then we have a background color. Click on that color and take away the saturation to uh, zero and increase the brightness to 100% and press OK. And now we have a white background. Uh, we'll come back to watermark settings in a different tutorial but basically the watermark settings allows you to um, add a logo Next what we're going to do is we're going to click on the uh, watermark settings um, and in here we can add for example a logo at the front of our scene so let's say we go and hit the watermark um, and this is a great way to just brand your work so um, other, other people that you give it to will always have your logo on it. I'm just going to click on that and find a logo that we have yep and then I'm just going to choose a small image size so that one's quite large it's quite large okay they're all quite large so we'll just choose this one and once you've added that image it will bring open the uh, create watermark dialog. Um, I want to use this as an overlay because I want it to be over top of 
any uh, anything that I draw. So I'm going to say next, and then I can blend the image so I can make it translucent, uh, which means that um, if, if it's overlaying something or on top of the model, that you can still see through it. Okay, then go next. And this is important, we can then position the logo on the screen, so I'm going to position it. And at the moment it's at the very centre, so um, I might move that down to the bottom right corner. And it's just hidden by the dialog, but you'll see um, just behind there that we can then make it a bit smaller. And once you're happy, just say finish, and that logo has now been added. Now under the modeling settings um, we're going to go and change a few things so for guides I generally set that to a red color um, it just helps the guidelines stand out better then for the section cut width I'm going to set that to 1 um, because when creating sections the, you want the cut not to stand out too much that you can't see the detail within that cut so these are just a few things from our experience that um, really improve uh, your initial work with SketchUp. Okay, so we've done some style changes. Um, the next thing to do is to update the style. And to do that, you've got a little uh, recycle button over here. And if you hover over top of it, mine's kind of hovering off the screen, it says update style with changes. So click on that and you can see that recycle button's disappeared and that style has now been updated. So we can click on the style's name and that then collapses up and you can either turn that off or move it off the screen. Next what we're going to do is we're going to change the view that we open SketchUp with. Um, I know a lot of people like to actually start in a plan view and then move into a 3D view. Um, so if, you, if you're happy with a 3D view like it is showing um, at the moment with an axis, leave it as is. But if you want to turn it into a 2D view when you open every when you open a SketchUp file at the start, uh, we're going to click on this button here, which is the top view. Click on that, and it will show you at the top left. It's a top view, and we're perfectly flat looking down on top of that axis. So the next thing is we're going to click on Model Info and on this um, standard toolbar you'll see that there's Model Info here, we can hover on top of that Model Info or we can go to Window and then go to Model Info right at the top. And I just want to double check the units that you're working in because um, again from our experience a lot of people have installed SketchUp not knowing exactly what they're doing and they've chosen a template with the wrong units and then they're working in the wrong units and it causes a few issues down the track. So let's just double check under units, make sure that we're working in decimal, millimeters and the precision is zero. And of course um, work in the units that's relative to the country you're in. For example, in the US you work in feet and inches, so uh, obviously it makes sense to choose what you're used to. Uh, next we're going to look at text, um, and this is where you can set up your your fonts for your leader text and your screen texts um, using the text tool. Um, I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, dimensions again you can actually change the the font for the dimension and the size of the text and the way that it's displayed and we'll most likely come back to that and animation okay and we'll come back to animation as well now we're going to look at the preferences go window preferences and then we're going to go to OpenGL and generally I leave um, fast feedback unticked so tick, untick that, uh, it just makes SketchUp work a little bit better in terms of uh, speed because it's try if you leave it on it's trying to do um, a better rendered look um, which necess doesn't necessarily mean anything until you actually output the image 
that you're wanting to create. Then under files you can select your file locations where you would like to save uh, your work. So under models if you click on the open button here you can choose exactly where you want to save it to whether it be a server or whether it be your documents folder in, in um, Windows you can choose where you want to save it and it will take you to that folder every time when you go to save it. Then if we go to extensions just make sure the extensions are ticked and then drawing that's all good and we are ready to save our template. So press OK on that dialog then go to the file menu and select save as template and I'm just going to call my one PCS because it relates to professional CAD systems and click in the white space here make sure you leave set as default template ticked and then click on save and there we have it we've now created a template so whenever I go file new it then replaces the drawing with the template that I've just saved so if I go and draw something just really quickly and I'm not happy I want to change that template file new say no and it will take me back to a default template.